Hey, I'm Brandon Reyes with True Ball Release and Excel Sites, and I'm joined here with Rio Wild. Uh, Rio Wild flew in this week, and he's checking out the factory, and we're also doing some testing on this new release called the HBX. We're very excited about this. Um, there's a lot of new technology and a lot of information that we're going to share with you right now in this interview with Rio about what he's seen on the line and also what he's seen worldwide uh, as far as the reception. So Rio, first of all, uh, thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed your time here with us. Uh, we've definitely uh, enjoyed having you here and uh, finishing up some testing on one of the probably most sought after releases that I've ever seen in our lifetime. Uh, I mean, there's so much uh, hype about this and uh, I mean, we've sold more already than probably uh, any other release we've had in uh, in an introduction stage, but uh, first of all, just kind of give us some information on you know where you came up with the idea, and uh, you know you know what kind of uh, made you think that this would really work for the public. Well, I appreciate you guys having me out and having the chance to work on this product. This has been really really awesome. Uh, the reason the idea came about was. It's really funny. I mean, we watch a lot of different TV shows and everything, and, and I watch uh, Shark Tank with my wife every once in a while. We DVR it. And the big thing they said was when you want to build a product or something that's successful, you try and find something that has a, an issue or a problem. Well, we all shoot back tension releases, and the biggest problem everybody has is this index finger not wanting to relax so that it can rotate and go off. And so it's kind of an idea is to try and figure out how that to happen and make that happen. And so when uh, Mark and uh, Greg kind of talked to me and they wanted to build a trigger type release to match my HVC, I said, you know what, I don't shoot a trigger and to put my name on it was kind of something hard to do. I wanted something that I would use or would help somebody in the same manner, like I said, we want to solve the problem. So I kind of went to Mark and said, hey, if we could make this happen, eliminate this finger from causing any problems for anybody, but still have it react like a back tension, I think we'd have something really cool, and it's something that I would like to shoot so that to put my name on it would not be as big a deal. And so I think it was like two months after the ATA, uh, Mark called me and says, hey, I got it done. So I'm, I'm amazed because, you know, I mean, that's a pretty quick turnaround on an idea that we'd come up with at the ATA. And uh, so with the technologies that come up and everything that we came away with, it was definitely something we wanted to protect and patent. So the patents were filed and things were done. And and after getting a chance to shoot them, you know, I mean, the first version, there were some things he liked about it, some things I didn't like about it, and so we came to another version, and, and we worked through, this is about, I think we're finally on the final production model. It was about three versions we came up with. I think it really worked out good that we kind of, I mean, it's nice to have Mark who's done this, his knowledge of working with releases for how long, and my knowledge of shooting them, will come together really good, and he's really good to work with, and I think it's just pretty amazing how well everything just turned out. I mean. In the testing yesterday, we found out a lot of things about it that we didn't really realize and things that it could do that no other release out there on the market can do. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know, uh, you know, being out on the, the tour, the 3D tour and, you know, some of the NFAA stuff, uh, you know, since, you know, we came out with this about uh, or came out with the idea a few months ago, it's just been nonstop, you know, question and answer and email and phone call. and. I just kind of want to get a feel for, you know, what, uh, I mean, you've been to two World Cups, uh, and you know, we'll talk about the world record later, but, uh, you know, what has been the, uh, the, the outgoing support or what has been uh, people's reaction to the HBX when you hand it to them and, and let them see it for the first time? Well, I think the biggest thing is the surprise. They've all kind of heard how it works, you know, and they get ideas. There's ideas in their head as to how it works, but it's like, eh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And, because it's so different. It's not anything we've ever seen before. It's not something that somebody else has done and you've modified. It, it is totally out of the box, totally different. And when you hand it to them and they just kind of squeeze the two together and go like this and see it open, it instantly clicks in their head how it works. And it's like, wow, that's really ingenious. And I've had several people say to me, it's so simple and so ingenious. Why wasn't this thought of 20, 30 years ago? Because, I mean, we've had spike releases that work just like a hinge that are still used today. I mean, let's be all honest, on all the releases that are out, they're just different versions of a trigger or a back tension with different handles and different heads and different placements. There's no been no real advancement like this or change in, in the whole release market. And so it's, it's been a really amazing. I mean, the first thing when a guy gets up and he, he plays with it and does this and has one shot, his eyes get big and he gets a huge smile because he's like, it, it makes sense to him in his head as to why it works. And uh, another response that was really funny was, 
before we'd got the the first prototypes and Mark had told me it was coming, we were at the NFA Indoor Nationals. And uh, I can't tell you, maybe six or seven guys would say, I shot pretty good today, but man, I hung up a few on my finger. I couldn't get it to go. And my dad, had, I'd already talked to him, so he knew it was coming, would giggle because he's like, man, this is funny because you already have the fix for all these guys tell me this problem. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's just awesome. He said, it's, I could, you couldn't have thought about it better than the responses you'd got. Yep. And, and, and it's been overwhelming with us too on the trailer. I know we get a lot of questions, you know, on the 3D, the 3D tour. You know, we got people just, you know, lined up at the trailer waiting to uh, get a first glimpse of it. You know, because you know, in the beginning we've made primarily just uh, prototypes for Rio to test and shoot, uh, and now we're getting into making a few more prototypes of the larger sizes. So you know that that uh, anxious feeling that people are getting is just has been overwhelmingly crazy on the trailer uh, in the questions. You know, we could have a sign up there that says, come in July 27th, and it's still, when's this coming? You know, when can I get my hands on it? So it's it's been overwhelming, and uh, we're very excited to get this going in about a month and a half. So, um, you know, with that being said, you know, we've been testing uh, the HBX. Uh, you've been testing it since day one for several months, and we did some final testing on the actual way we're going to ship it out uh, uh, yesterday, and uh, we finalized all that. Is there anything that you've learned, uh, you know, in your testing and in, in shooting the release for several months that uh, is important for you know anybody that's going to use this particular product uh, to know? Uh, I would say the biggest thing is you drop back like a hinge. Treat it so much like a hinge that it's no real difference. Because like say, like any hinge, when you put the pressure on your back two fingers, it'll go. Right. That's the biggest thing to me is because I've, I've heard a lot of rumors around the internet that oh, if you put pressure on the back fingers, it's going to go. Well, you can set up the springs and the tension so it reacts just like your three finger back tension. You can put a little pressure on it and drop back just like you normally do. I mean, you want to be careful just like a back tension. I mean, no one's punched myself harder in the face than I punched myself with a back tension mm -hmm. getting it back. So I think that's the biggest thing. And I will tell you one thing we've learned in a lot of the testing is the click in it. The click come out just so much better than anything I could ask for. I have a hard time with a click because I get into my shot and I start it and I, I would see the click go boom and it would bounce my whole sight on any other back tension release before. This one's really cool because it gets into it and it goes click and you feel it in your fingers and you hear it, but it doesn't affect your sight picture at all. So mm -hmm. to me, that's, that's like I said, there's a lot of things we learned in the testing last couple of days that are things that we didn't know beforehand that we've learned. Right. And it's just, I, to me, we couldn't have set out to build a product and say, do all these things with it and really came up with it. But when we came up with the idea and we built it, it reacted and did all these things that we didn't know that are even better. Mm -hmm. So the product has gotten better than we ever thought it would be. Right. And, and we'll go into, you know, the different ways that we've kind of seen, you know, uh, in our testing that you can, uh, you know, shoot this release in just a moment. But uh, another thing I wanted to touch on, kind of while we're talking about the features, um, you know, is the way that you adjust the, the, uh, the, the sensitivity uh, and or the adjustment on the click. Uh, you know, this, this particular release is one of a kind, and I tell you, you know, it's, you know, when we're switching a release from a click to a no-click, there's always a lot of loosening screws, taking something apart, flipping something around. Uh, on our HBC, you got to flip the spring around as mm -hmm. well. Uh, in this product, you don't have to do that, and I want you to kind of explain how uh, you can adjust that uh, sensitivity screw and also, you know, go from a click to a no-click or vice versa. Mm -hmm. All just by the adjustment of a set, uh, set screw. Well, it, it turned out even better than we thought because with the you have a lock screw to protect it from moving, which is always a fear with any archer that when you're out there, you've got a perfectly set something changes. So we we put the lock screw in, but you loosen that and you adjust the travel screw on it, and as you adjust it, you can dust it all the way down and then back it out two turns, and it will eliminate the click. Put it back the lock back in, the click will be gone. You now will have a regular back tension without a click, which. Man, can we talk about way easier than like flipping springs and flops and, and things going apart and you never get it back the same. That makes this changeable way easier than anything else out there. And then to adjust it the same way, you know, you can adjust that. Once you've got past that click, you can adjust it all kinds of different speeds in and out there with the springs. It's just uh, ideally the adjustment in it is so simple and so amazing that you can customize it to anybody's feel. Mm -hmm. So essentially what we're doing is if you adjust your set screw all the way down to basically where it bottoms out, you've got two full turns to back it off without a click. And then once you go from you know that to 
on back, then it activates a clip. Yep, it reappears. So, uh, you know, the nice thing about that is, you know, it's 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 all right there. And, and just by adjusting the set screw to your liking, you can go from a click to a no click and you don't have to tear anything apart. I think it's, it's a great, uh, you know, a great concept and I think it's a great feature that a lot of people are going to like, um, you know, out there in the market. Uh, just to touch quite uh, briefly on the springs, the springs is a feature that, uh, you know, that you're going to have with this uh, release that you can adjust. Uh, we're actually going to package this release and send it to the customer uh, in the formation or in the configuration that Rio shoots. So there's going to be a little bit stiffer spring in the back, uh, and uh, I think it'll be set with a click. But uh, you know, in the package, you'll also receive a lighter spring and kind of touch a little bit on uh, on what the spring may do, you know, to the release uh, as far as when somebody's setting it up. Okay, uh, like I said, he's gonna we're gonna package it just like the one I shot to set my world record because that was a pretty safe, feels comfortable, everything like that. Maybe some guys will think it's a little heavy, so it has a 18 spring is what we call it the thickness of the wire on the spring is 18 we're also going to include a 12 and so uh, with this you have all the adjustment of getting your click wherever and the, the part we found out in the testing that was really really interesting was is if you would make the release get quicker to the click the click would feel longer mm -hmm. and so we always hear guys say i want i want this click i want i want a shorter click i want a faster click the cool part is with adjusting this release you can actually adjust the, the length or feel of the click Versus, you know, always having to buy another another hinge or another head to click put inside. Size. Yep, yeah. click sizes. And so it really turned out really cool in that aspect because with being able to adjust it this way and then change the springs, you can make that click feel exactly how you want and more customized to you than anything I, I've ever seen. I yeah. mean, it really, the testing turned out better than we could have asked. Right. So there's more personalization in this click or no click than any release we've ever seen all in one piece that's installed in every release that comes out. So that's something to, you know, if you're a consumer or if you're looking for the next back tension, you know, that's something to consider and, and realize that this has all that. There's no more buying four or five different clicks or, uh, you know, whatever you need to make that personalized, customized feel for yourself. It's all in this particular release. Yeah. Um, you touched briefly on the world record. I want you to kind of give, uh, uh, give our viewers a a, you know, what was going through your mind, you know, when you were testing a new product on the line at a World Cup event, and, uh, you know, take us through those 15 arrows. It, it was really cool because I decided there in Shanghai because the weather is usually pretty good. I thought, well, let's give this release a run. So I can really see how it shoots and performs. Maybe a little breeze, maybe a little uh, tension and pressure. And so qualifying went well, 708. So I felt pretty comfortable. I knew how it was shooting. I knew how things felt with it. I uh, went over and I shot my first match, which was pretty solid, a 148, you know, advanced against Peter Elzinger, a great shooter. And then to face another guy from the Netherlands, you know, I walked up there and I shot my first three arrows and they broke and they went all in the middle. Uh, pretty good feeling, you know, only three X's is a good start, comfortable, you know, the guy had missed a point, so I felt good, he gave me a little lead. And the next end I shot two X's, so I was like, wow, I got five X's and two ends, that's pretty good considering the old world record's 10, so mm -hmm. if I can at least stay on that pace, That'll be good. Yep. Next end, I shoot three more. And uh, it was kind of funny because all of a sudden the TV camera started following me. Because mm -hmm. I think they had a hint that I was shooting pretty good. I shot 41 X's during qualification. So the bow was shooting a lot in the middle. Between the combination of the release and the bow, it was putting a lot in the middle. So after the three ends, I was at eight X's. The next end, I shoot two more. So I was at 10. So I had one. World record. Yeah. So I had tied the X count on the world record. So I had one more end left. I had to put three arrows at least in the 10 to tie it again. And I pulled up, my first show broke amazing. Just, I mean, it took the cross out. So I was like, wow, that's good. I have 11 now. Now, don't mess it up. Don't be a dummy. Let's just put the next two in. And, and I actually got lackadaisical, and I missed one off the X about by a uh, half inch. So it wasn't a bad 10. It was a solid 10, but just off. And I turned to myself and said, you know what, dummy? Don't mess around. Just execute a good shot, you know? And the thing with this release that I really loved was executing was really, really easy because you got into it, and you just pulled. And when I just pulled, I didn't feel like I was torquing anything one way or torquing mm -hmm. it another. I could just pull and execute. Where with other things, you know, you, you got to relax that finger or, yep. you know, you got to squeeze a trigger or something. Mm -hmm. And to me, I just felt like I got on and I just kept pulling, pulling, pulling and just stayed with the shot and executed. And it actually hit the arrow that hit the cross on the first one. So yeah. to end up with 12 X's, I was pretty excited. I mean, 
like I said, the TV cameras started following me. Come to find out later that uh, one of the other shooters had told them, he says, oh, he's probably going to break that world record, so you might start following him. Yep. So it was pretty cool. It was, a, it was neat, and to do it with the new release was really awesome. And this was the first time that you had used the release in competition, correct? Correct, yep. yep. So it's, uh, it's a great tribute to you know a great product there, and I just wanted to kind of get that story because I think it's uh, it's very valuable. You know, it's uh, you know you never know what the weather you know conditions yeah. are going to be. Uh, you know, a lot of people if they're a hinge shooter will maybe switch to a, a thumb button mm -hmm. if the weather's rough or windy or whatever. But uh, you know, Rio and several other top shooters out there they stick with that hinge no mm -hmm. matter what. And uh, you know, I think this product is you know is a is going to help all those shooters. And I wanted to you know wanted everybody to hear that from you. Um, you know, with that being said, you know, we've got pretty, pretty much five distinctive ways that uh, an archer can shoot the HBX. And, and the first way is, you know, kind of what we're calling Rio's way, which is kind of a steady increased pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of give, uh, you know, the audience a little bit of a, an overview of what we mean by Rio's way or the steady increased pressure. Mm -hmm. What I do is I, I get into the shot and then I just start my, my draw, just start pulling. You know, uh, it's kind of what I've always done. I get against the wall pretty hard, and then I just start to extend. Mm -hmm. Because to me, it's like, with your hand, if you move your fingers, your mind goes from there, from aiming at a target to, to here. Mm -hmm. And then you don't know where your dot's at when you're thinking about this. So to me, I've always learned that if I just pull, 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 it, I can stay focused on aiming. Right. And that's usually a better thing. I've always had a guy, Kurt Etheridge, the guy that shot the first 120 X's, the first thing he ever said to me was, if your dot's in the middle, it's hard for it to go anywhere but in the middle. Right. And so that's... Kind of how I've learned, it's always just been this way. And that's why I say a lot of times, I will hang up on this index finger. Sure. Because to me, as if I'm pulling, that was a problem I would end up with a lot. Mm -hmm. And so, it's just kind of, that's how I've learned, and it's always how I've been. And it, it's worked out good for me. I can't say that it's been bad, but that's just kind of what I have done. Right. Wonderful. That's, you know, that's that was the first way, you know, that we want to, we're going to have a video regarding all of these. But, uh, you know, Rio's way, I wanted him to tell you how he shoots it. Uh, now, another method, uh, the other four methods, you know, that we've came up with are a transfer, uh, you know, pressure, which, uh, you know, to describe that is basically what you're doing is you're letting the release pivot on your index finger. So uh, you've got pressure on your middle and ring finger, but you're relieving pressure on your index finger. I know Jesse shoots a lot, uh, you know, a lot in this method. Uh, and that's a method that can be used with the HBX as well. Uh, a tension only method is the third method where you're pretty much just pulling through with all three fingers, yep. you know, and, and, and bursting uh, with a power shot. Um, the fourth and fifth method have to do with the actual thumb peg. Uh, you know, this particular release can be shot, you know, kind of like a thumb activated uh, trigger. And what you're doing uh, on the fourth method, which is uh, thumb and ring finger, is you're basically squeezing the thumb lever and your ring finger together. And what that does is that allows the release to break apart, thus firing the shot. And then the last method is just thumb, where you're basically doing the same thing as the fourth method, but you're also adding pressure with the middle finger and just basically like you're squeezing a ball. Uh, and if you're squeezing a ball, that's going to separate as well, causing mm -hmm. the shot to fire. So those are pretty much the five distinct ways, uh, you know, that we're going to mention, uh, you know, in advertising and uh, in packaging that you can actually fire this particular release that's distinctly different. Now there's a hundred different ways you could do it. And oh, there will yeah. be a hundred different ways that people shoot it. Yeah. But uh, you know, those are kind of ways that we, you know, we wanted to spell out to people if somebody's new in back tension mm -hmm. and they're going to pick it up for the first time. It may be a way that they could try it. So. Um, you know, I wanted to, you know, cover all those, and like I said, we'll have a video that goes into real good depth showing, you know, where the pr uh, pressure is increased on each finger on all five methods for people to see. Uh, so with that being said, Rio, we've got, you know, the HBX coming out here uh, July 27th. Is there anything else, uh, you know, that you want to touch on that's going to sell this product that maybe, you know, somebody may be on the fence about buying? It's versatility. I mean, just like you just said about the five things it can do, the ways it can fire, there's so much that this release can do. I mean, if you're questioning whether you want this one or not, you, you take a look at any other release out there. If you're going to buy a release and tell me another one that gives you more options. 
There, there just isn't. There, I mean, it's and and a new person. Uh, I've had several coaches come up to me and thank me because when they're teaching a young kid how to shoot a release, it's so hard to get them to understand how to make it pivot and turn to get a hinge to work, which they still want to teach them how to shoot a back tension because they want them to keep these strong and stuff, but they've always had that problem of trying to teach them how to get a hand to pivot without losing some of that tension. And they said, you know what's so cool is everybody that shot it is just pull, 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 boom, and it goes off. And so to me, it's, it's the first release that really has a true back tension. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've always had... I mean, we talk about spikes forever, we talk about everything, and all of them have had to pivot a little bit to go off. Where sure. this one, it just, boom, and it goes off. There's no, and the cool part is, if a guy likes to shoot it with, like you say, transfer of tension with one finger to a different one, it works. There's just so much. I mean, I, I, we couldn't have come out with a better product that has more versatility and can become set more for each individual than, than we've done. It, it blew my mind when it was finally done. Right. Well, we thank you for coming in and, and help us finish this up. And uh, I think the anticipation grows every day uh, more and more. And, you know, we continue to have, you know, orders coming in daily. Uh, and uh, we're, we're already in production. You saw the production you know, that began, uh, you know, a while ago. And uh, I just want to touch, you know, quickly on the, on the sizes uh, before we close up. The HBC was available small, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. That'll be the same here on the HBX. We'll have a small, a medium, and a large uh, as far as sizing. And is there anything you need to say about that? Uh, I would say, you know, if somebody's looking at buying one and they're not sure what size, it is exactly the same as the HBC. I mean, there is no, they came, we come up, Mark did it exactly the same sizes from the, every spacing to every finger. So if you're curious as to what size you want, go into the stores and try the HBC and see which one fits you best. And, you know, if you want to get an HBC, get one of them, but the HBX will be really cool to have. Great. Well, uh, we thank you again, and like I said, uh, the anticipation is through the roof. And July 27th is the actual release date uh, to where the products will actually be shipping, uh, you know, all over the world. Uh, we will be in Copenhagen, Denmark for the uh, World Championships, uh, in which you'll be a part of, we hope. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a big formal uh, introduction of the HBX there. Uh, so keep an eye out on social media for new videos uh, from us. Uh, new information, uh, you know, comes out daily. Uh, we'll get this video up as soon as possible and, uh, you know, share more information with uh, the public as well. So uh, if you have any information, feel free to look at our website at www.trueball.com or feel free to call us. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions or take your pre-order. So uh, the numbers are growing, so I'd say get them in fast.